This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meets in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are up to on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk. And with the fella who always says, speak <laughs> your mind and ride a fast horse. <laughs> Well, you always say it, but it's like I never listen to you. Yeah. Speak your mind and ride a fast horse to Wayne Allen Taves. Talk. The talk, wonder talk, of Mound Ridge, Kansas. Talk low, talk slow, and carry a big stick. I I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Besides that, when you speak low and you speak slow, when you do talk, people, people listen. listen. It's, yeah, like, it's not like us radio people who talk constantly. They're just babbling on. Don't have to nothing. Be, you don't have to be E.F. Hutton. <laughs> you can be just an average person. Average person. Talk low, talk slow, and, and people will listen. They'll either listen or they'll wonder whether or not your brain's in first year. Yeah, or they won't, and then you can say, I told you so. Speaking That's of like brains, my wife. Go ahead. your fact or fiction question of the day. Ants outweigh humans on the earth. Fact or or fiction. You know, I have heard that. I cannot believe. Wait a minute. I think it's maybe insects. Ants. Yeah, I think it's insects. I'm going with fiction. That says it's true. There's more ants more by pounds, weight. More pounds, biomass, weight. Do you believe ants. that? Well, there's lots of ants in lots of places, but there's lots of people in lots of places too. Yeah, and just think how many ants it would take to make up a person. Although, have you seen some of those where they'll find an ant colony and they'll pour yeah, molten aluminum, aluminum in down it? it? Right. Which, yeah. Which, that, you know, for the ant, that ain't such a good deal. Well, no, it, it's not a big, <laughs> it's not hard at all because they send them an eviction notice. Oh, they put um, a little note out front. And there's a legal notice that they yeah. have and they send them and they hey, say, you know, we're going to be doing this on this date. <laughs> two so, weeks. Yeah. Better be out of here. Better be moved out. So, and then, and then everything's fine. Okay. So, well, yeah. with a name like Bauer, I'm of German descent. Yeah. Okay, and there's about 320 million people in the United States. All right. Okay, what, what are the number of people that claim a German descent in the United States? Oh. Because we're coming through October, Oktoberfest, you know, uh, Big sauerkraut, sauerkraut ball season. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, time out. And so what? Sauerkraut balls? You've never had sauerkraut balls? No. Well, you're and not I, German. I claim to be half. Well, the other half's a, Irish. Well, actually, I'm half, only half too. Yeah. Uh, but um, the German but, side's but the fun side. But it's always been more prominent. Yeah, exactly. No, you've never had sauerkraut balls? I have not. Well, I don't I've know had how many of these people. a number of ways, but never in a ball. Well, you mix it with... Um, a little bit of ground meat and a sauce, which I assume is probably mushroom soup. Uh, uh -huh. Mix them all up. Make a little ball, and then you bread it and deep fry it. Really? Yeah. You got to be careful when you bite into that, though. A little warm on the inside? See, it could be hot. Huh. Yeah. yeah, and you know how— I feel so cheated. Well, Maybe yeah. I'll run into somebody that makes those Well, sometime. do you eat sauerkraut at all? Yes. Okay, well, you can make your own. I'm really not that you know ambitious. What? For the man party next year, we should make sauerkraut, <laughs> sauerkraut balls. Sauerkraut balls? That's right. That would be That ought to make a few people stay away. To, oh, I eat sauerkraut on Polish sausage. Uh -huh. Eat sauerkraut just loose with ring sausage in it. Yeah. Oh, I do too. I'm a I'm I'm eat sauerkraut whenever I remember to buy it. Have you ever it, made I sauerkraut? You my wife will not buy it. Have, have no, you made no. it? My mom used to make turnip kraut. Oh, really? Which was the same way as sauerkraut, only, I mean, she'd shred up the turnips this time yeah. of year and put it in the big crock in the basement with right. the brine over it, put a plate on top of it, as I recall. We had a wooden cover, but okay. we we'll keep talking. It, and then it sets down there and rots for a while. <laughs> pretty <laughs> and pretty when much. It's, and when it's done rotting, yeah. then you take it you out drain and it eat off it. and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> My, isn't that tasty. Isn't that something? Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.